Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and join the family because you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. So you guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I say this all the time in like every video that I record because it just always takes so long for me to just get back in front of the camera. But I've been busy and in this video I'm going to be explaining why and you guys already know that I was chose as Mrs. Indiana International 2023 so I actually was at the pageant like I was in that thing and I had a just amazing amazing time amazing experience and in this video I'm going to be just breaking down everything I'm going to be telling you guys, you know, what all took place, how everything went, including some pictures and some videos. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. But like I said, if you're new, please, 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 please go ahead, subscribe to this channel so y'all don't miss out on any of my videos because I'm trying to come back strong, you guys. <laughs> I really, really am. So please go ahead and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram not underneath at Kels underscore Davis with three underscores after that. So let's just get right into this video. So we're going to start off with the first day. We're going to start off with what happened on the first day, what all took place. So I'm going to just break it down. My husband and I, we woke up around like four o'clock a.m. because we wanted to get on the road by like five. So we were going to head to Kingsford, Tennessee. That's where the pageant was held. And Caleb and I had got on the road by at least like 5.30 a.m. or 6. So it took us a six-hour drive to get there. So we drove. It was a really quick drive. Like I really didn't expect it to just go that fast. But the drive was really, really good. We got there safely. Everything was perfect. When we got there... Um, I got there and I unpacked everything. My roommate was not there yet. So I was just like unpacking everything, ironing out everything, putting everything on my little clothes rack that I had. My husband also helped me. My Let me just first, let me just say this first, okay? My husband was my biggest supporter in this whole entire experience. Like he literally helped me with everything. Although he was extremely tired driving me there and then driving back home, like this man put in some work. He also, when he came, he also like helped me like iron out my clothes, put up everything, making sure I had everything laid out. So he really was my biggest supporter and still is my biggest supporter. Like whatever I do, he's going to be there supporting him and I'm going to be there supporting him with whatever he does. Woo. Okay. <laughs> so first day we get there unpacking everything. Once I get everything at once I got everything unpacked and that's when I just kind of like started settling down, my roommate finally did come in the room. So I met her as soon as she came in and my husband was still there too. So he met her as well. And her name was Celia. This was, she's Mrs. Mississippi. <laughs> and she was just so amazing, full of energy, full of life. And I really do miss her a lot. I'm so glad I had her as my roommate. So I got there. Like I said, I set out everything, make sure I had everything laid out. So once I got everything laid out, then I start to do my makeup because we had orientation that day at five o'clock, I believe. And I think I might have to like look at my schedule or whatever to see the times because like our days were so busy and so packed. So I had to do my makeup because I did not book any appointments with getting my makeup and hair done every single day. I was just not going to do that. I said, I am going to do my makeup every day. I had these same braids and I literally just did my makeup and did a little style to my braids every day. I was not trying to worry about my hair. That's why I did have braids for this pageant because I was not trying to stress about my hair because you already know natural hair is stressful. So I said, no way. I'm just going to have braids. So I did my makeup that first day. I would do like a little touch up because I did have makeup on when we first got there. I had on some makeup already just so, you know, when I arrived, I looked, you know, somewhat decent just in case anybody seen me. So I've touched up my makeup a little bit. 
And once I touch my makeup up, then that's when I change my outfit to the outfit that I was going to wear for orientation. And they said resort wear. So my outfit did look very much resort wear fit, like literally. And when I got to the orientation, which I'll get to that, everybody's, you know, outfits was like glamorous or it was just a um, plain color and, but still really, really nice and casual and, and elegant. So, but mine's was very much resort wear, but I think it still fit for my personality and for who I am, you know? So these are like just some few pictures of what I had on, what, you know, orientation looked like. So then once I actually got my clothes on, then that's when we finally went downstairs. And once we went downstairs, I started to take pictures of everybody, start seeing everybody in the hallway. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is getting so real. It was so exciting to finally see the faces, you know, because we've seen everybody on Instagram prior to the pageant. And see everybody on Instagram and stuff like that. But then once you actually see them in person, it was like, oh my gosh, this is getting real. It was so, it was so nice to see everybody in person. And everybody kept telling me how tall I was. I'm like, yeah, I'm tall. Like, I'm really, really tall. So when people see me on Instagram or social media, whatever it is, they're like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell that I'm tall, but like in person, I'm I'm really, really tall. <laughs> Not like giant tall, like six foot five, but like five eleven, you know. But when people see me in person, they're like, oh my gosh, you're so tall. So everybody kept telling me that and and plus I had on heels too, like six inch, seven inch heels. So I was like extremely tall. So once we actually um, are standing around waiting for the orientation doors to open up, we're like talking, we're hugging, we're just greeting everybody. I'm greeting everybody. Everybody's greeting each other. And it was just so nice. So then we finally get into our orientation room and we have our gifts. So I didn't mean, I haven't said that yet, but we had to bring gifts for everybody. So I had brought these little like I'll try to find a picture of them, like a little, the little pop things, whatever. I don't know what they're called, but I had got those and I thought it would be really fun for everybody to have. It was almost like bringing that inner kid out, out of us. So it's like a little, it had like a little keychain on it. So I had like got those for everybody. So as we were going in, we're passing out. The gifts were like, it was a lot, y'all. Like, we were all just in there scrambling because I'm I'm dropping stuff. First of all, I'm literally dropping all of my things on the floor. And they're helping me pick them up because it was a lot going on, trying to pass out those gifts to everybody. So we're passing out the gifts. And then we finally sat down. We had, like, assigned seating. So they had our name on a little, on the paper in front. And... Mind you, gifts are all in front of us. Like, if any of the girls are watching this, y'all already know, like, our area was packed with gifts. And I should have just took, like, a picture of what that looked like. But if you guys go on my TikTok, y'all see, like, the little video because I did, like, a mini vlog. So, it was packed. So, I'm, like, trying to gather up everything and then put everything in, like, a bag or something. So, then I finally get everything in my bag. And then that's when the orientation started. So orientation started. They're telling us how the week is going to go. They're telling, they're literally just telling us everything about how everything is going to go. The orientation lasted for, I think, two to three hours. And I was tired. Like, I was so tired. I was like, dang, this is the first day. And I'm already tired. Like, oh my gosh. I like thinking about it. I'm like still thinking about how tired and exhausted I was because mind you, we had already drove six hours there. Then I get there, then I'm unpacking and it was just, it was a lot. So that was about two to three hours. So after orientation, and that's when we just go back up to our room. Some girls did, I think they went to go eat or whatever. And I went back to the room. My roommate went back to the room as well. And we took some pictures. So here's some pictures of us. We took like some little p uh, pajama pictures. She brought two pairs of like the little silk pajamas. And I was like, thank God I could fit it. Because <laughs> if, uh, if I wasn't a small girl, then I don't know if I'll be able to fit it. But I fit it perfectly. We took our little pictures and then... 
I changed back into my, my regular pajamas. I got in the shower, changed into my pajamas, got that makeup off my face and laid down. I think I had called my husband, called my parents just to let them know how the first day went. So first day was so much fun. Like it was fun, you know, pretty much seeing everybody, getting to know everybody face to face. And then day two, we woke up. I think I woke up at like four. I think I woke up at four like every morning because I needed to do my makeup. So the other contestants, most of the contestants had hair and makeup appointments. So they had to actually wake up at three in the morning to get down to get their hair and makeup done. So I woke up at four, got in the shower, and then I did my makeup. And it took me about an hour to do my makeup every morning. And like I said, I really didn't have to do much with my hair either. I would put it up in a bun or I'll put it in a ponytail. I'll do like different elegant styles with my braids. So I'm so grateful that I had braids because if that was, if th if I did not have my braids done, I don't know what the heck I would do. Like, I mean, I could have went my, I could have did a twist out or whatever, but just knowing me and my hair, I did not want to worry about it. So I did different styles. So day two, okay, so day two was when we started to do our activities. So the first thing that we did was, like I said, I woke up, did my makeup, put my hair up, put my little dress on. Then we had to go meet down for roll call. Yeah, roll call. I was like, is that the proper term? Is that the correct term? But yes, it was roll call. We did this every single day before we did any type of activity, any type of rehearsal, we had to do roll call just to make sure everybody was there, everybody was in place. And also we had breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. So that first morning we did have breakfast and I went down, I can't remember the exact time. Like I said, I, I, I need to pull out my schedule and I don't know if it's on my phone or not but because <laughs> I think I actually deleted it but anyways we went down for roll call and I think it was like 7 30 that we had to go down to meet and we went down eat breakfast and then they did a roll call so I was number 33 I think they gave our numbers out when did they give our numbers out oh my gosh if any, if any of y'all watching this video, when did they give our numbers out? Because I cannot remember. It was either the first day or the the first the first or the second day in the morning. Anyways, I was number thirty three. So we were. Oh, it's coming back to me. They gave us our numbers on the first day of orientation. Duh. So we were all in our own different groups. So I was with Miss Mrs. Kentucky, Mrs. Illinois. Mrs. Philippines and Mrs. Ukraine. So I was with those four lovely ladies. Am I missing anybody? I don't think I'm missing anybody. No, it was us five and I love them so much and I miss them so much. So here's a picture of us right here. I miss them so much, but this was my group. So everything that we did, we had to make sure we were either with them or whatever number that was given to us. We had to make sure we really listened to make sure like we were in the proper group because if not, it would just kind of be all over the place. I mean, it really wouldn't be too bad, but it would just kind of like mess us up a little bit. So day two, like I said, we had our activities, we went down for breakfast, then we did our roll call and... We actually lined up to get on the bus to head to the Y. Okay, so we got on, or we did our little, we got in line. We made sure we were in our groups. So here's another picture of us standing in the line before we got on the bus. And before we got on the bus, also, we took our picture. So we took a little picture before we got on the bus. When I say we took so many pictures, oh my gosh, I've never took that many pictures in my life. Okay, everything that we did, there was a camera, there was it was time to pose, it was time to do that. Like I took so many pictures. We all took a lot of pictures. I never took that many pictures ever, like ever. So we took our pictures before we got on the bus. We got on the bus and we had to sit with somebody new each time we got on the bus. But somehow, some way, me and Mrs. Ukraine, <laughs> we kept on sitting next to each other. But that was okay, though, because we just had a good time. We had a good time. So we sat next to each other on the bus, and 
we got on there. Here's like a little video of us just, uh, she was teaching me how to speak Ukrainian language. So with her, with her doing that, it just made the trip so much more fun. Like we were on there laughing, just having a good time. So she's trying to teach me how to speak Ukrainian language. That was hilarious. So we were heading, like I said, we we're heading to the Y. So once we get there, then that's when they has had broke us up again into either, I think it was like a bigger group. So we got broke up again into a bigger group. And then we did like a little tour around the Y. They had like a little tour instructor with us to walk us around to teach us, you know, the, the different programs that they have. And if we had any questions, we were able to ask some questions. So we did that for about an hour and a half. So after we did that for about an hour and a half, then that's when we split up again. I think we split up again. So then we went to either it was Buff, Buff, Buff City Soap or Buff Soap City where the, we pay uh, bath bombs or we did the axe throwing. I think I I think I did we went to the axe throwing. Yeah, we went to the axe throwing place first. I was not too good at it. I got it. I will say I got it about 3 to 4 times when there was others who got it like 10 to 15. Okay. <laughs> so, I just could not get the I I couldn't do it. I mean, that's just not my calling. So, <laughs> I was not really good at it. So we went there and we did that for about, I think another hour and a half maybe. So then we painted keychains. So we did that. We did the ax throwing, painted keychains. And we took more pictures, more pictures and more pictures. So we did the keychain and then that's when we got switched up again. Or no, did we eat lunch? Y'all, it was so much going on. I'm telling you it was so much going on. Because a lot of the the different things were in one, like one facility, like the axe throwing and then the keychain, the the painting for the keychain was in the same like room pretty much. So we did the axe paint, and then some. When the other group came in, they ate lunch. So they came in, they ate lunch, and then they went to do the axe throwing and then paint, and then. Uh, then, then that's when we went to the Buff, uh, Buff City Soap place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we went there and then, well, we ate lunch first and then that's when we went to go to the Buff, to the soap place. Okay. So we went to the soap place. We painted the bath bombs, which was really fun. It was, di it was a little bit different, but I got the hang of it, you know? So here's some pictures of that. So then... We started doing that again, and then we were, uh, we actually had to go. No, did we go back to the? No, we didn't go back to the axe throwing. But that's when we went to go back to the hotel because we had to get ready for the baseball game. Okay. Yes. So we had a full, full day. I've never done this much in one day before. And I was tired and kind of hungry too because. They fed us salad a lot. So I was really hungry. <laughs> and once we got back to the hotel, then that's when we kind of like refreshed. And then we put on our t-shirts for the baseball game. We all had, we all had the same t-shirt on and we had whatever bottoms that we brought for that. So I brought some shorts at first, but something happened with the shorts where it got, I don't know what was on it. It looked like some, some water or oil or whatever. Or from the iron. It was something on the shorts. So I had to change it to my pants. And then we went to the baseball game. Once we got to the baseball game, we just took more pictures. Took more pictures. I don't think nobody really watched the game because we were just doing a lot of pictures. Taking a lot of pictures. So then Girl Inc. organization came. And we talked to the little girls there, which was really nice. We talked to them, took pictures with them. And then once we got done taking pictures, then we ate. So they gave us little, like, vouchers or, or like, little tickets to get either popcorn or hot dog and chips or something like that. So I used mine because I was hungry. I said, I'm going to get my hot dog chips and something to drink. So that's what I got. I got my hot dog chips and something to drink. And then that's when we kind of just still sat around and then it was finally time to go. So this, then that's when we had left and we got on the bus. And this time I got on the bus, I sat with Mrs. Illinois. With, 
And that her name is Rachel, so I'm a I ain't gonna say too much yet. Okay, I ain't gonna say too much yet. But anyways, I sat next to Mrs. Illinois, and she's uh I love her so much. Our bond was just so amazing, and she literally was just like I don't know, like another mom. I feel like I was just like so comfortable around her to just talk about whatever. So after. We got back to, uh, after we got on the bus, then we got to the hotel, and then that's when we went and then finally chilled. I think that was it after the baseball game. That was it because that day was so full. So, day three. So, day three, this is when things started to get real because we started to rehearse. So, that morning, of course, I woke up at my normal time, did my makeup, did my hair. And we went down and actually, I think that's when we were, we went down again, took more pictures before rehearsal. So took a lot of pictures. We took so many pictures. So we get down, we did our roll call and then that's when we went to do more pictures. And then we went inside the actual auditorium or whatever you call it, event center where our pageant was going to be held. And that's when we started to rehearse. So they set us down. They talked to us. They demonstrated a few different things, introduced themselves. And it was it was really, really nice. It was so it was so amazing just to really see it all come to life, you know, to see how the stage was going to be set up, to hear the music, to sit in the seats, to be on the stage. It was feeling very, very real. So we were in there for like a long time time okay rehearsals took a long time so we were in there okay so we started with our rehearsals and like I said they set us down they talked to us and everything and then that's when we started to get on stage practice our opening number I think the first day was opening number and with that with the opening number that's when we went on stage we did pretty much everybody walked in together we do like a little turn in the front coming down through the center we go back and then that's when everybody comes back in on stage and we line up pretty much we have the first group of girls on top second on the second row last row I think there was like another row yeah so there was another row and then that's when they introduced us by our title and then our name. So we will go up, we'll stand like they had like these stickers on the stage where we go up, we stand while they're, so there's like, I think like four stickers. So two girls will be here. These are the ones that are about to be introduced. And then the ones in the middle were the ones that will, that will wait to go to that spot to be introduced. So we go up to the two, we wait, we stand there, and then once the other two girls are gone and introduced, then we go to the edge, and then they introduce us by our name, or by our title, and then our name. So, like, for me, it was, like, Kelsey Davis, Mrs. Indiana International, 2023, we did our wave, and then we would do, you know, a little walk-off or whatever, smile, and then that's when we went back. To, uh, in the back of the stage so that was the first day rehearsing for the opening number uh what else what did we rehearse for the first day I really I think the first day was really just opening number because that was a lot in itself so we practiced for that and like I said this was a full day thing full day thing so then later on that evening one group had to go do interviews. So I was not in that first group. I was in the second. So my interviewing was that following morning. I'm kind of glad my interviews were not were not on that first day because I already knew I was going to be tired. So mines were on the second or the following day. So day three, I'm talking about this was on Wednesday already, so mine was Thursday morning. Okay, so the, on day three, I'm still on day three rehearsing. We actually had lunch, and then we had like a little break, the break time. So we had lunch, and then we were able to go up and refresh or whatever, come back down for rehearsal again. So I went back up and I changed my dress. So here's a few different pictures. So this is my first picture of opening number rehearsal, and then we came back. 
So I had this dress on for that. So the second part of the rehearsal, we had to, this is when we practiced for our evening gown. Okay, so this was our evening gown walk. And we had like a pretend escort because our husbands were going to be the ones to escort us onto the stage with our evening gown. So we had like a little, not a fake dude. <laughs> His name was Scott. He was he was one of the directors there. So he was like our escort. And then some of the other uh, producers and productors were there to help us escort too, or be the escort too. And that first practice was a little bit different because I noticed with my walk versus the others walks, my walk was very quick. And that's how I always practice. I did not practice walking slow. So some of the other contestants will tell me, like, slow it down just a little bit. And I tried that. This is, I'm going to tell y'all, okay? I'm going I'm to tell y'all once <laughs> because there was a few times that, or no, there was one time where I tried to walk slow and I kind of stumbled a little bit because I was not used to walking that slow. So anyways, day three, still on day three, rehearsal for the evening gown, did that. We practiced for fitness attire too. So we did our fitness run. So with the evening gown, like I said, we were practiced with our escort. Escort brings us in. We walk down and we're supposed to kind of walk slow. We walk down. We don't stop. We don't do any posing. We just walk and we turn and we come back to our, our escort. And then we go off stage. Fitness, we actually had to pose one, two, three. So three times, okay? So we get on stage. We go on stage. We have two stickers at the top, one sticker in the middle, one sticker like in the mid stage and then the bottom okay so we go in we stand on one sticker then we walk to the other sticker and then we go to this sticker okay but we don't move to that sticker until the girl that's in the mid on the mid stage on that sticker until she moves off of that one okay so there was a lot of us that kept messing that up because once you see them moving, then that's when you want to move too. So once they actually move from that second from that second sticker, then that's when we're supposed to move. So that went pretty good for me. I was able to kind of like get that down really quick. So that was fitness. Fitness was really fun. I love fitness. I think fitness was my favorite because... I was just able to walk, nor not really walk normal, but just walk, you know, but still adding a little like joyfulness and like not really worrying about falling because we did have on tennis shoes. So it was really, really good. So instead of doing swim, sw swimsuit wear, which we didn't do that, we did the fitness. So fitness was really good. So we were walking, we doing all our thing, we posing, we all that. It was really, really good. So all that to say, like, that was the end of everything. Rehearsals went well. And I think they told us that we could actually, oh, no, was that that day? I can't remember if that was a day or not. But I think that was the day where we didn't have to go back and rehearse again. So this, during dinner, um, they had told us that we didn't have to go back to rehearsal again. So we were able to just go and chill and relax while the others were still doing their interviewing. So I went back, I got a shower, I laid in the bed and I just chilled and I relaxed and I just was talking to my husband on my on the phone and just, uh, it felt so good to like just chill and relax, but it still felt like I had to do something like, cause I was just so used to actually like just going, going, to go, going, going, going. I didn't have anything to do. So I was just laying there and I chilled and my roommate and I, I think we went to bed around like 830, like we were out. Okay. Day four. Four. So day four, that is when I had my interview. So I think I had my interview at 9.45, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was 9.45 to like 10.15. So I woke up pretty early, did my makeup, still had time to go down for breakfast, which was at like 7.30. Get down there, I'm eating, and then I went outside to just catch some fresh air and also practicing any questions that the judges made asked me on the interview 
So I went outside, I sat there and I relaxed, I chilled, really do, didn't do anything, doing, didn't do much at all. I was just really just out there just soaking in some fresh air and just practicing. So then that's when it was about time for our interview. My group was already down there. So like I said, like we were pretty much with our groups all the time. So my group was there. We took pictures again. So we took pictures in our group. And then we um, took individual pictures too. So we took some individual pictures and then that's when we were finally able to go in into our interview. So our interview was um, round robin. So round robin is pretty much when the judges are like in the room, they're sitting at their own tables. Okay, so there's five judges and all five of the contestants went in and we went in we had to we had to have our backs up against the chair like we were standing and the chair was pretty much on the back of us or whatever so we couldn't like turn to face the judges we had to turn the opposite way like away from the table until they said like turn around and sit down so that's what we had to do until they told us to turn around and sit down and we when we first went in we could pick any judge that we wanted to so we just went to any judge and then we face the opposite direction turned around till they said so and then sit down and then that's when they started pretty much started the timer we have five minutes with each judge so the judges asked us questions per, uh, pertaining to our platform or just personal questions just to get to know us my interviewing went so well like my interviewing went so so well like I felt like that was the best interview I've ever done in my life even compared to like job interviews like this interviewing process was so easy I was not even nervous like that's the thing I was not nervous my heart was not racing you know how sometimes you get so nervous your heart will pound so much where you can hear it <laughs> like you can hear it in your voice or whatever or you're like not breathing and you're trying to get everything out and then you try to breathe no like this was so calming so relaxing I had amazing eye contact like I did not look away from them I looked dead into their eyes as I was talking then I look away and they asked the question I gave them my answer I gave them what was on my heart like I did not try to change myself at all I did not try to say big words I was myself okay and I gave them the true me and I wasn't nervous and I think that's the thing I felt so comfortable to the point where I was just able to just flow so like I said um that was um that was really really good so finally once I went through all of the judges then they told us to go ahead and stand up and we're able to go out and then Miss Mary which was my director asked us like a question to make sure everything went pretty well so that was good interviewing process was amazing and that's what everybody kept saying it was like the judges are so nice so personable and they just connected well what there was like a few of them that kind of made me feel a little nervous but not really so once we got done with the interviewing, then that's when we had to go up to change into our Ashley Lauren t-shirts that we all had to wear for the rehearsal because we we're going to take some pictures in that. Duh, like told y'all we took a lot of pictures. So we all put on our Ashley Lauren t-shirt with any bottom that we were, that we brought for that. And I think I had brought like a blue jean skirt or whatever. Everybody was dressed so cute. Like everybody's outfits were so cute. I felt like my wardrobe was compared. To, I just went. I mean, it was okay. Like you know, this is my first pageant, so I was just trying to get familiar with everything. I already knew what to pack. I knew the styling of what to wear, and like you know, solid colors, no, no print. But like, I just started throwing stuff into my suitcase you know I just started throwing dresses in my suitcase so if there were some days when I did not have anything left that's what I had to put on I had to put on a dress with print you know what I mean so <laughs> but yeah I had brought the blue jean skirt so I wear that with my Ashley Lauren t-shirt here's some pictures right here 
and we took more pictures and then that's when we rehearsed so yeah we had took plenty of pictures with our Ashley Lauren t-shirts on and then we rehearsed again so we rehearsed starting from like opening number fitness wear um evening gown I believe we did evening gown too so we rehearsed all of that so once we rehearsed again for that we had lunch so it was like pretty much like the same thing leading up until our prelims and finals day so each day it started just to begin like it started to be just like the same thing every day so rehearsal uh lunch or breakfast rehearsal lunch you know like dinner rehearsal like but then that fourth day we did what was called wine and wedges where we either wore a red dress or a purple dress or anything that was red or purple so I had a red dress and I love, 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 love this dress. I got it from Shein. Most of my outfits I got from Shein. So I'll try to link all those outfits down below if I can. So y'all can just see. And if y'all want to purchase that, y'all can. So I wore that red dress and we took more pictures, of course. Took more pictures and then... We, I think we rehearsed again. No, we did not rehearse again. That's when we did our wine and wedge. So we did the, we took our pictures and it was raining. So we couldn't go outside to do the golfing because we were going to do like mini golf, but it was raining outside. So we couldn't do that. So we had to do it indoor, but it was, it was nice though. And then they had fruit for us and then they had some wine. I didn't drink any wine. I had the fruit and they had like this, uh, white, they had this white chocolate to put on the fruit. Oh my gosh. It was so good. I think that was like the first that had something sweet all that week. Okay. So that was the last day until our prelim day. So the next day was the prelim day. And prelims were the before finals. So that was like the real show. We did the, the full show on day on day five. We did rehearse that morning. We rehearsed that morning and then we did our prelims. I think the show started at seven, seven o'clock. Okay, so we rehearsed, we had lunch, we had to get ready, and then it was time for prelims. So prelims went really, really good. Like I said, we did our opening number. We did our fitness. Okay, we did our fitness. We did our evening gown all in the prelim day. After all that was done, then the next day, which was day six, was finals. So finals, we, we did our opening number again. Okay, we did the opening number again, and then we came back out. I can't remember what we came back out in when they start calling off um, who was going to go into the finals. So, sadly, I did not make it into the finals. I did not make it into top 15 or top 5 or the winner, but that it was okay. I was fine. I think I cried because I was excited for the ones who did make it into the top 15. And that was really funny because people were seeing me crying. They was like, it's okay. Like, you know, this is your first one. I'm like, y'all, I'm crying because I'm happy for the ones going into this. Like, I'm an emotional person. So I was crying because of that. And with me crying because of that, it was like confusing everybody. But I'm like, no, you guys, these are happy tears. You know what I mean? These are happy tears. I'm not crying because I didn't make it. I think it was kind of like mixed emotions. It really was mixed emotions, but more of being happy for the ones that were going and that made it. That is why I was crying. So it was just like mixed emotions or whatever. So when... Oh, yes. When they chose the ones, okay, it's coming back to me. When they did cho cho choose the ones for top 15, we did have an opening number dresses. Because I remember once they pretty much told the ones who didn't make it into top 15 to go sit down, we all had our opening number dresses. <laughs> That's a whole nother thing, y'all. So they had us sitting in the back, okay? And I remember the trash can right there. Like it was a trash can on the side of us. So we we're literally sitting in the corner watching the show I feel like that was kind of off but anyways we sat and we watched the rest of 
the pageant. So the other girls actually went up. They started to do their on-stage interviewing. They did their fitness again, and they did their evening gown again. So we had to go backstage to put on our evening gown too, because once we went back, put our evening gowns on, then we all came back out on stage, and this is when they chose the top five and then the final winner. So Mrs. Illinois one, which is Rachel. She was in my group. Yeah, she was 32. She was 32. So she was in my group. So I'm like, that is so tight that I had the winner literally with me all week. <laughs> but anyways, um, this whole experience was so amazing. Like, I'm so grateful that I went into this pageant. Yes, it was expensive. Yes, it did take a lot. Yes, it was kind of overwhelming, but I got through it and I was able to learn from this and I was able to meet some amazing people. So I'm so grateful for just going into this pageant and learning. Will I do another pageant again? Probably not anytime soon, but I probably may think about it a year, maybe two years later. I don't know, but I'm just excited. Um, for what you know for what y'all has for me because of this experience you know I really didn't even have to do this but I chose to and I learned from it and I went out on faith yes I didn't no I did not win no I did not make it into the top 15 but that is okay going into this pageant my mindset was really just focused on the experience and not really winning I did want to make it into the top 15 I told myself I was like if I can make it to the top 15, I'm good, but I did it and it was okay. It was fine. It was perfectly fine. I was just happy for the experience. And a lot of people, even at my job, even some of the other contestants, they were just like, Oh, you got a chance. Like, I would think you're gonna win. But once I got there, once I met everybody, and once I seen how amazing everybody's personalities were, and just how driven they were I was like this is going to be hard because you know I was not just the only one that was this, that has this personality a lot of the other contestants were full of life and that's how I knew it was just going to be a hard pick because everybody was just so just so happy like just they were just full of life and that's why I knew it was just going to be hard I knew it was going to be hard but I got, I, I went through it. I did it. And I'm glad it's kind of over with because it, it was a lot. It was a lot. And I was so ready to finally get there too. I think I was just ready to get there and just get it started because it was a long wait. It was a long wait, but I'm grateful and I'm just excited. So if you are thinking about joining a pageant, I think you should. I think you should do your research because that's what I did. I had, of course, my husband helped me. My best friend helped me. So do your research. And if you have that passion to do it, do it. Because the experience is amazing. You're going to learn so much about yourself. You're going to learn so much about yourself. You're going to gain a lot. You know, you're going to experience a lot because for me, I think one thing that I'm proud of about myself is I I was not, um, what's the word, like, I did not allow this to cause me to like, no, let me just say this. I grew up really shy, okay? I grew up really shy. I grew up not really having a lot of friends. I had like a few friends, but I would only stick around those few people. I would never venture out and try to gain new friends because of my shyness. So going into this pageant, it opened me up. Like I literally was able to talk to everybody and there was 46 contestants. There was 46 women and I was literally able to talk to everybody, whole conversation with this girl and that girl and this girl and that girl. And I was not sticky with one or two people. I was not like, oh my gosh, like this is a lot for me. I'm overwhelmed because there are a lot of women here. I don't think I can talk to everybody, but no, I was myself and I, it opened me up. This pageant really allowed me to just become more open. And 
it helped me to just, you know, have better eye contact, learn new vocabulary words and just becoming more of myself and not really so introverted, I guess you can say, maybe more of an extrovert, I guess a little bit, not like too much, but it really helped me in that area. And that's what I did learn from this, because if I want to, of course, grow in in my vision with my purpose, then I have to have these certain characteristics and learning and being able to talk in front of people. So that's what it really helped help with. And I'm really grateful for that. So if you want to join a pageant, please do your research. And I can also link the pageant organization, the one that I was in, which is Mrs. International for the married woman, but they do have some for Miss preteen and teen. So they have all those as well if you're not married. So yeah, that is actually the end of this video, you guys. This is like probably one of my longest videos. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.